<laughs> oh, nice welcome home. Oh, oh, no, it's a peace offering for Gabby. You two had a falling out. Oh, you try telling an 18-year-old what's best for them. Well, even if you don't agree with the choices, I know you'll support her. Yeah, I know. You're probably right. Anyway, enough of my woes. How was Bath? Oh, busy. The bishop wanted me to oversee a parish handover. Lots of problems to iron out, but the new vicar seems more than capable. Well, I'm sure you've been itching to get back after all the trouble with Dawn, though. Trouble? Her sleeping with Ellis. It's caused so many eruptions. Ellis? What happened? Oh, uh, sorry. I thought Will would have told you. Sure he wanted to. Probably didn't want to bother me with everything else I had to do. Well, it's been going on a while, apparently. Uh, Billy had a massive argument with Dawn at work and she started walking out. I tried to stop her, but she just wouldn't listen. Wasn't expecting you home today. I thought I'd surprise you. Welcome home. Laurel's just been telling me about Dawn and Ellis. Yeah, I was going to call you, but I didn't want you worrying. Thought as much. <laughs> uh, well, I'll leave you to it. See you soon, and we'll catch up later. Yeah. Get inside. I want to know everything. Go on, then. Spit it out. What was Dawn doing seeing Ellis? She wasn't seen him. They slept together once. Laurel said it had been going on a while. That's the version she told Billy, but she made it up. Made it up? Why would she be so spiteful? <sighs> Dawn and Billy have been getting close again recently. She, she got drunk one night and nearly let it out about Malone. <sighs> it's fine. She, she got away with it, but it scared her. Scared us both. That's scaring me as well. She didn't trust herself around Billy, so she slept with Ellis to make him hate her. She told him it had been going on for a while, but that's not true. She she just wanted him out of her life for good. Where's Dawn now? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? She left here about a week ago. I've not heard a peep from her since. And you didn't think to tell me? What about Lucas? You can't just uproot him. He's still settling in. She left him here with me. She's out there, alone. Have you looked for her? Yeah, I've driven round as much as I can and called, but she doesn't answer. What good's that? You should be pounding the streets, asking people. You know what happens when she's out there on self-destruct. She could be back on the drugs by now. What are you doing? Going to look for her. If your daughter ends up dead with a needle in her arm, it's down to you. <sighs> Hi, Belle. How's it going? Uh, good. Yeah, you? Yeah, been working away for a while. Just got back today. I haven't even caught up with Dawn yet. Don't suppose you've seen her around, have you? Not for ages, no. What you got there? Just a good luck charm. I'm making it into a necklace. Looks pretty. Uh -oh. Better get on. Anything? I checked around the parks in Hotton and asked at a few hostels, but no one's seen her. I called a few B and B's too. Yeah, you should have done all that the day she left. I tried. I had Lucas to look after. He was upset missing his mother. If you hadn't been so pig headed, you'd have called me and I could have come back and helped. I wasn't being pig headed. And whose fault is it she's missing anyway? Malone only stayed sniffing around here because of you. If you hadn't been sleeping with him, don't be with Lucas now. Whatever has gone on between us. Whatever has gone on... However much you hate me for it, we need to pull together for their sakes. I didn't call you because I didn't think there was anything you could have done. Yeah, we'll never know now, will we? How's Lucas doing? It was a bit teary, but I managed to settle him down for a nap. He'll be glad to see you. I've done my best since Dawn left, but I'm not sure how reassuring I've been. Every day she's out there, this gets worse. How long are we supposed to keep this from social services? She's already come close to losing Lucas. If they get wind of this, they'll take it in a heartbeat. Do you think I don't know that? Dawn, it's me again. I'm home now with Lucas. Not me and your dad, we're doing our best, but it's you he needs. Whatever's gone on, we can face it together. 
It's your son who's important. Come home, Dawn. Please.